it's so silly to think these type of projects are not for me. Uh, the fall project, the autumn project, uh, the color uh, which comes with it, they are not my cup of tea. No black, just brown. And here we go. <laughs> I made the fall project on a special request and I absolutely love it. It's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation. Thank you for being here. So while I'm preparing my table, thank you Stacy Rivera for giving me the uh, idea for this project. <laughs> uh, without you I wouldn't uh, go through with it and uh, I wouldn't be happy actually making it because I really had fun. So uh, I'm using mixed media paper which I'm cutting in a half so like that I am doing my landscape pages. Uh, and you can have a small look at my desk, which is kind of Halloween-ish uh, with the uh, you know, flowers, violet flowers. And I wanted to show you the uh, aqua markers I'm gonna be using. They are actually very cheap aqua markers uh, I bought in a local shop. Uh, you, if you are from Europe, you probably know it. It's called Action. Uh, if not, well, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a cheap shop with some crafty goodies. Uh, Marta Łapkowska, Marek Smorart, uh, she's using uh, sometimes uh, also the products from this shop and they work fine. So right now I'm using a piece of acetone. I'm um, sorry for the reflection, my lamp is just, uh, well, <laughs> always giving this reflection on something which is, you know, like a clear, like a, a piece of acetone. But uh, with acetone it's so cool also. Um, that you can actually see a kind of you know the size of the paper underneath if you put the paper underneath and you can just make your marks on the paper then you add tiny bit like really tiny spray of water and just press the asset onto the paper and like that you're gonna uh, get your uh, lovely uh, colorful stains you don't have to worry to apply the paints all by yourself and of course this is again one of the uh, methods of using or applying uh, the paints, uh, the markers. So you have so many options. You can use uh, also uh, oxides, for example, or just distressings or any type of uh, hybridings. Uh, you can use markers as I'm using right now. You can even use sprays. Why not? All of it you can apply, uh, it can be applied with a big, uh, bit of acetone, uh, but you of course can do it uh, any other way. I just haven't done the uh, fall page for so long. I was not sure of how I wanted. Uh, I knew that I want a lot of stains, a lot of colors, autumnal colors, a lot of stains. So that's for me the best, I think, uh, way to uh, make a lot of stains is to actually apply uh, paints with acetone. And for this uh, particular project, I just choose aqua markers. Uh, but you know, uh, I actually did it already with the markers, like normal markers uh, from, you know, which I took from my children, so like school markers. Uh, so you can do that as well. If you don't have aqua markers, no problem at all. They will work fine as well. And I also didn't want to repeat the same scheme, like always uh, either sprays or the uh, powders. I just wanted to show you something different because I know uh, there are some new people coming to my channel for which I am super grateful. Thank you so much for subscribing and for following me. Uh, and so uh, I know some of you are beginners, some of you are forgetting about stuff because I know that I am forgetting about stuff. Uh, I'm forgetting about uh, techniques, you know, and uh, sometimes it's just uh, good to come back to, to the techniques you forgot about and you haven't done for a long time. And so to get a lot of stains, I am doing uh, the same things all over again, you know, as long as you are happy with your page, you stop at any point you wish. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm applying uh, the colors, I'm drying a little bit, I'm reapplying and that's how it goes. So it's basically a lot of playing, you know, a lot of layers, but you can stop at any point and that's the whole fun about it. Uh, I was every step of the way I was missing something like right now I was missing yellow so I'm adding yellow uh, of course you have to be careful because some of the paints will mix together and if you know a little bit about the color uh, mixing um, thingy 
<laughs> you're gonna actually but that, that that the color mixing stuff but you can get a little bit of muddy colors uh, and it happened in few cases here like you know small uh, pieces when I got kind of brownish color which works super cool because it's autumnal page so you know I didn't bother about that but if you use other colors if you use uh, if you're trying to make I don't know a rainbow or something you know just stick to the colors which uh, will not mix together badly in a way that you know they will not get uh, get you the muddy result at the end and so that's basically what I'm doing <laughs> I'm thinking that I would be more happy with a longer uh, piece of acetone, but at the same time, uh, you know, it's very hard to turn it, you know, because you have to uh, master it to the way, well, it doesn't really need to be a mastering a piece of acetone, you know, it's just, you cannot put too much water because otherwise it's just gonna drop on the paper before you actually put it on the paper. Uh, I hope you, you get what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, um, and with a longer piece of acetone maybe it would have been a little bit harder actually to work with it but I'm doing what I'm doing you know I am dealing with what I have at home and, and that's the thing um, I we actually you know have a beautiful uh, autumn here it's so warm uh, which I am very happy about but at the same time I'm thinking about all this warming uh, you know uh, effect and the climate which is changing and it's not uh, they are not a happy toads but look at that uh, this looks so lovely uh, I really love the effect it looks like uh, you know uh, autumnal best and uh, my, this is my drawer with distress oxide I decided to actually uh, in my videos show you a little bit of my uh, of my craft room which is not only mine because my uh, husband is still doing uh, some teleworking and so he is uh, mostly in the bureau in, in, yes it's a bureau it's not a craft room really uh, and I'm gonna be using a little bit of my stamp uh, which is called uh, so textured and the uh, distress of sight and for the love of me I really don't remember the name of the distress of sight <laughs> so uh, I don't use them very often that's why but you're gonna get the name in the description box below just below uh, probably with some affiliate link if you want to use these uh, links I would appreciate so much because I can get a tiny bit of commission and uh, you know at no cost uh, for you so it will help me you know <laughs> I'm always uh, saving money like that for my ne uh, next uh, projects next designs next stencils and stamps uh, um, because yes for now I am investing uh, everything I actually earn into a new project uh, and that's how my business goes right now and uh, I've done the stamping part which is kind of amazing because there is not too much stamping so you know <laughs> for me it's uh, something weird to do not too much stamping uh, but I decided that for the autumnal page I don't have too much greens and that's what I was talking about look guys I had some green which mixed, of course, because it reacted with the uh, uh, paints and uh, distress oxide on the paper and mix it gave kind of a, not really green color, kind of a um, muddy color, brown, brownish color. That's why I decided to do a different technique. So now I am just writing on the piece of acetate. I was sure you actually could see that, but I must have, uh, um, you know, zoomed the camera so you don't see, but I'm just doing one two lines with the marker with the green marker and I am not spraying at all water on the acetate so I'm just adding it on the acetate and putting without water dry marker on the top of the paper well at least that's what I was doing until now because now as you can see I am starting to add a tiny bit of color tiny bit of green with a tiny bit of water to just get a little bit still of this kind of like a flowy effect so you can see here but the lines you can see kind of dotty lines they were done without any water I was not sure if that's gonna work but it did work uh, I think if your paper is a watercolor paper that may not work because this one is kind of smooth the surface is smooth so that's why uh, also I guess you know the uh, this printing kind of without water works fine 
and I'm still trying to add my green with a tiny bit of water because I am really missing it and I think with green it looks nice. Also I was thinking that the uh, stamping effect with uh, um, this dress of sight it was too um, like clear to crisp uh, in comparison to the rest of the page so I was happy to actually add some water because you know these dress of sights they react very nicely with water and so uh, it dulled the uh, actual color of the distress of sight I used of the stamp I used and I think it looks much better right now and guys uh, let's go a little bit with the water soluble oil pastels I think Prima doesn't do it anymore in this type of uh, box like you know all the pastels together uh, from what I've seen uh, for months maybe years already they actually do uh, small boxes uh, with colors or with like you know I don't know summer box or whatever I don't know I have them since few years this box of uh, oil pastels and it's been long time since uh, well no I had them for a long time before I started using them and I have to tell you guys I really absolutely love them and now quite often I use them uh, they are really nice uh, and you can get very nice tiny splatter with it can you see that the green splatter it's so beautiful, it's so tiny, I never can manage to get a splatter like that with any type of paints. And this is the stamp from uh, La Blanche. Ah, so now, you see guys, I was mistaken, I'm gonna be doing some more stamping. I've done this project today and I'm doing the voiceover in the evening and I still, you know, I, I kind of forgot what I <laughs> was doing. But um, to be honest, I've done today, I think, five projects. So I'm really, really happy uh, with myself because there are days when I, there are weeks when I do nothing actually because I am just not feeling like doing anything. But today, uh, even though the children are still at home because there is holidays, uh, my husband was working from work. And so I had my bureau, my slash craft room, uh, all for myself. Uh, when I was not spending time with my children, I could actually do some uh, crafting. And uh, I decided, I was not sure what I'm gonna put as a focal point. I was thinking I'm gonna put some uh, leaf dice uh, or leaves dice, but finally I settled for uh, mushrooms from Maremi Small Art. Uh, you're gonna get a link to her shop in the description box below. And I was really actually happy, uh, you see, I have all the <laughs> stash of her things, which I cut out. And I think the mushrooms comes from this Collectanea uh, collection, <laughs> but I'm not sure because as I cut some of the things uh, beforehand, uh, I'm not sure actually later when exactly or from which um, uh, collection they are coming from, but they are coming from uh, Marta, so you know, I'm gonna give you a link in the description box below. And I had a problem arranging them. The third mushroom, the kind of more yellowish, yeah, I kind of couldn't place it anywhere. I was thinking it's, it's not the same color as the other ones, it's not the same type of mushroom and it kind of doesn't work, so that's why I was, you know, putting uh, on the like running over the page trying to place it um, the best way possible finally i found it like that so i think that's the best placement for it and i'm gonna leave it the way they are right now uh, because i could have left two of them um, but i'm still uh, you know kind of in this optic that you have to have uh, odd number of focal point uh, on your project so for example one three because it's more pleasing to the eye simply and so that's why I wanted to kind of stay in this optic. One was not enough because my page is long. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna be soon posting or, or, or doing videos on how I assemble all of these pages together and made a, a journal page on which I'm working today actually also. And so I decided also to kind of um, <clears throat> put the mushrooms into their place like kind of uh, ground them yes that's the word i'm always missing ground them on the paper so that's why i'm adding a little bit of uh, kind of um, shadowing underneath and on the side of the mushrooms and once again i'm doing it with the water soluble oil pastels and you can either just uh, dump your um, pencil not pencil 
brush in water and then just use it, take the paint from the uh, crayon itself or you can just put it on the surface a little bit of crayon and then just wet it with water and use it like that, like watercolors basically. And of course for this page I couldn't really go with um, black and white uh, sentiment. So here is my box of goodies. Uh, yes, eat cake, why not? But do some sport <laughs> beside. But this box is actually uh, full of uh, small sentences either taken from, uh, you know, my books, um, messy words, and uh, which I already cut and they are just too short to be just left somewhere else. So I put them in the box. Or I have also the pieces of old books, which uh, I was just kind of, uh, uh, going through and I've seen a, a nice uh, kind of sentences in them and I decided to keep them and this one they are two different uh, sentences from the same book but uh, they weren't connected together uh, at all and that's why the first one is finishing with the comma and and I wanted to remove it it didn't work I almost uh, kind of torn apart the last letter so I left it with the comma and the next sentence is starting with the um, uh, big letter uh, but I don't care about it too much I think it works so nicely together the day flowed by sunset gave, gave way to evening and evening to night uh, I hope you like this page guys uh, Stacy I hope you enjoyed it as well uh, thank you for letting me know what your wishes are I'm trying uh, my best to fulfill them because uh, you know without you uh, what I do would be just you know for me uh, put in the drawer and closed I wish you a beautiful uh, day uh, a lot of sun and I hope I'm gonna see you in my next video sending you big kisses guys bye bye